Hi, I'm Rick James and today we're going to answer a question asked by Vincent in the comments of my engine video. Basically Vincent said, how come when a helicopter engine starts, the main rotor blades don't start spinning straight away? Like what do we have to do as a pilot to engage the rotors? So I'm going to go and show you how the system works on the A-Star. So Vincent, this is the Ariel engine on the B2 A-Star and basically it's kind of in like two parts. We have the front part which basically produces the power and then we have the rear part which is harnessing the power. So basically right up at the front here we've got the axial compressor and that comes through into the centrifugal compressor then that comes through into the combustion chamber which basically mixes the fuel through the fuel nozzles here with the compressed air and it expands it and then it fires the gas out the back but as it comes through here it goes through what's called the gas producer and what that does is as the uh, gas is going out the back it's rotating and through a drive shaft it's turning the compressor at the front so as that turns the compressor turns and it pulls more air in more air in more fuel in more bang so it keeps the engine self-sustained so that's the energy producing or the power producing side of the engine. Then in this section here where there's actually this protective band is what is called the power turbine. Now the power turbine is a turbine that turns from the gas exiting out the back of the engine. And what the power turbine does is it turns and it comes out through drive shaft into a set of gears and drives the main drive shaft. So the engine is kind of in two halves. So here to here is the power producing side, here to here is the power harnessing side. So they're kind of, they're not connected at all. So when the engine starts up, this section is free to turn. The gas is going through, but it's not powerful enough to start turning the power turbine and the main drive shaft, which goes through into the main transmission and then up to the road ahead. But basically, as the power of the engine builds up, as the, uh, like the RPM of the engine increases, more gas comes out the back and eventually gets to a point where the power turbine starts turning and the main rotor starts turning. And it's a completely, it's a free wheeled system. So for the A-Star, there's nothing that I do as a pilot to engage the rotor system. All it is, is once the engine is producing enough gas, come out the back to turn the power turbine in that section it then drives through the main drive shaft which then turns the transmission so I don't physically touch it So that is how a gas turbine engine turns the main rotor. I don't engage it, there's no kind of clutch system, it is purely done with the gas going out the back of the engine, driving the free turbine, which is called the power turbine. That harnesses the power being produced by the engine, turns the drive shaft, turns the main transmission, turns the main rotor, I fly. And that's as simple as that. I hope this answered your question. If any of you guys have any more questions, definitely stick them in the comments below and I'd like to get my camera out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a subscribe and I'll see you next time.